On the tragedy in Nashville, we want to bring in Hawaii News Now's Washington correspondent, Peter Zappa. Now, Peter, we're learning more about this mass shooting. What is the White House saying? Yeah, Ashley, obviously it's a tragic situation. The White House understands that. And for the second day in a row, sending their condolences, uh, but also talking about the need from their perspective for gun reform, for gun safety reform in this country. The president's talked about it multiple times today. He said he's already done what he can do to in the, in, by way of, uh, of gun control and by way of extending background checks and things like that. He's now calling on Congress to act. He wants to ban assault weapons, uh, but he has to know, and a lot of Democrats have to know there just isn't the appetite for that on Capitol Hill right now. But obviously the president is still very frustrated, still wants Congress to build on some legislation they passed last year. Unclear if there is going to be any movement on Capitol Hill, given how divided it is right now. Yeah, have we heard any response or reaction from congressional leaders or lawmakers on the Hill? We did hear from both pairs of leadership today. Uh, Republicans uh, are sticking by their their uh, what they've always felt is their platform on this issue, is saying they want to hear all the facts first, and and they don't want to make this political. They they are blaming Democrats for making this political, but it's really rinse and repeat. Every time we have one of these mass shootings, Republicans say they don't want to play politics with this. They send thoughts and prayers, and, and they don't call for any action necessarily. While Democrats immediately call for action. Democrats. Leader, Democratic leaders today on Capitol Hill saying that they do want to move on another assault weapons ban like they passed in the last Congress that eventually it died because there was no appetite in the Senate. They want to keep expanding on these gun control measures and Republicans say we need the facts and we want to focus on mental health. We, they don't want to touch guns. So this impasse is just going to continue as it always does after every mass shooting event. Yep, sure seems that way. And another big story uh, out of Washington today, uh, the state of the banking industry. Now, this after the collapse of multiple banks, uh, there was a hearing today where top banking regulators testified. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, Ashley, you had uh, an official from the Fed, the Treasury and the FDIC all in front of the Senate. Uh, banking committee getting hammered by both sides of the aisle because there are still so many questions as to how this crisis came to be and how we can prevent it in the future. Now, you have to understand all three of these officials acknowledge that there's still a review process going on, so they could only say so much. Um, but you had someone from the Fed saying that, uh, yeah, there may have been some regulator supervisory issues that maybe they should have caught, but they're also saying that they're a bit handcuffed, that regulations that were rolled back in 2018 may have led to some of these issues that we've seen, that, that, that Silicon Valley Bank and these other banks were not under the strictest of supervision that, that some regulators might like to see. So they want more tools in their arsenal to address these kinds of issues. Meanwhile, lawmakers are saying, look, you saw these issues coming. You did not act quick enough. You need to do better. So Republicans are really stuck on the, well, why didn't regulators do more side of things? And some progressive Democrats are saying we need more regulation. We need to give them more tools. So it's not like we got a ton of answers out of this today, but we know where both sides stand. All right. Hawaii News Now's Washington correspondent, Peter Zampa. Always appreciate the time, Peter.